You have this amazing ability when you play, where time seems to just stand still. It's incredible. Anyone ever told you that? If I had a kid to play with then, I'm old. Kids don't want to play chess anymore. Have you spoken to Jack recently? He refuses to leave the house. I met his wife there the other day. They have a bathtub in the lounge room. And he was sitting in that, watching the football on the television. And she was splayed out on this beautiful green couch, wearing a shit brown blanket. I don't know what compels him to say that woman. Because he's smart. And he wants to be loved. When you're in love, you retain the right to be quite a mean person. It's a wonderful, enviable thing to possess. With a woman by your side, if you're an asshole, it's a quirk. But uh, if you're single, you're a threat to society. When you're alone, it, uh, you feel like a, a moral obligation to society to be nice. Are you gonna move or what? When I was younger, I used to go down to the pool and paint the naked ladies. <laughs> well, they, were, they weren't naked, but uh, I painted them. It was good. I, I felt no pressure to, to explain my intentions or anything. I just sit and paint and watch. I thought to myself, I will do this for the rest of my life. But then as time moves on, you know, I realize that I still am and will always be a victim of chess. There's no women, but it retains all the beauty of the work of art. Chess is much purer in its social position. It cannot be commercialized. See, the chess pieces are like the block alphabet that shapes thought. And these thoughts, although making a visual design on the chessboard, they express their beauty abstractly, like poem. I've come to the personal conclusion that although not all artists are chess players, all chess players are artists. Shh. You cannot find where to make an offense, huh? You never can. You play chess like a Venus flytrap. But the people aren't flies. This is why you never win. You know, turning defense into offense is key component of game. I know. Then go, move already. That'll be your 11th blunder. By the romantic move. Beauty is in the eye of the bell. It will be holding to me. Resign. No. I can't stand that guy. He's a shithead. He's ambitious. Cultivate. <laughs> Spare me. Actually, he reminds me of a woman I, uh, I dated once. She was a very cultivated woman. I had absolutely no idea how to, how to uh, express myself to her. You know, I would say to her, my angel, I love you, man. And she would say to me, Barbara Cartland has already written these words. <laughs> <laughs> so, Okay, so I say, well, I know. And she said, accusing, you know this? You take her words as your own and you hide from me? I said, well, okay, as Barbara Carlin put it, my angel, 
I love you madly. <laughs> Still. <laughs>